Comac is delivering its first C919 to China Eastern in Shanghai on December 9. This milestone could mean the opening of a new era in which Chinese airlines will have a third option other than Boeing and Airbus when they expand their fleet in the future. The C919, China's first domestically developed large passenger jet, made its maiden flight in 2017 and received a certificate from the Civil Aviation Administration of China in September. In China's domestic aerospace industry, a large plane refers to one that can carry 150 passengers or cargo of more than 100 tons and have a range of more than 4,000 kilometers. Such aircraft must meet strict safety standards. They are very complex machines incorporating a lot of high-tech components and materials. As an in-demand means of transport, they have a very high market value. The C919 meets all these standards, as it can carry more than 160 passengers and travel more than 5,500 kilometers on a single journey. It is of the same level as the Boeing 737 and Airbus 320, which are the workhorses of the industry. With C919 being gradually put into commercial use, the domestic airline industry will be able to rid itself of its reliance on Airbus and Boeing. Large airliners are so expensive that they consume much of the foreign reserves of the nation, and they are a continual drain on resources as the domestic airlines must rely on foreign companies for the plane's maintenance. Besides, the introduction of the C919 is a milestone achievement for the domestic high-tech sector. Besides Comac, the plane's developer, there were 22 provincial-level administrative regions, over 200 enterprises, 36 colleges, and over 100,000 individuals involved in bringing the aircraft to fruition. The fact that China can organize such a big project means Made in China has reached a higher level. So, who will be the potential customers of C919? Can it break through the monopoly of Boeing and Airbus in the aviation market? Okay. That and more is exactly what we are going to talk about. Let's get started. At first, who will be the potential customers of C919? In March 2021, China Eastern Airlines officially signed a contract with Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, the C919's developer, to purchase five of the aircraft, with the other four to be delivered within the coming two years. In total, Comac had obtained 815 orders from 28 customers, and it secured additional orders for 300 planes at the Zhuhai Air Show in November. China Eastern, after receiving the first C919, needs to conduct additional work to include the C919 into its current valid operating certificate issued by the CAAC. The additional work includes revisions of the current management manuals, training preparations of technical personnel, and demonstration flights under CAAC supervision, which is expected to take several months. Therefore, the first C919 commercial operation will be around April 2023. In fact, back in 2011, Ryanair signed a memorandum of understanding with Comac regarding 200 C919S. Last March, Ryanair CEO O'Leary reiterated their interest in the C919 program, saying, Airbus and Boeing have long dominated the world market for commercial aircraft, and we look forward to the emergence of a third commercial aircraft manufacturer. However, to any potential foreign customer, especially an LCC, C919 needs to prove its reliability and economy in the upcoming operation to be competitive in the market. Besties, as for SAS production, CAAC issued the C919 Program Production Certificate, PC, to Comac on November 29. The PC shows that the regulator recognizes Comac's quality assurance level for the production system, and the C919 program got a green light for mass production. Compared with Comac's ARJ21 program, which received PC one year and a half after its first delivery, the C919 program's progress is significantly improved. It shows that Comac's quality control system is more mature and reliable after years of mass production of the ARJ-21. Chinese airlines now receive about 200-plus single-aisle aircraft from Boeing and Airbus. And it's reported that Comac plans to manufacture 50 C919s per year by 2025. If this target is achieved, it will mean that Comac will have at least a 25% market share of annual deliveries from 2025. Surprisingly, the Chinese government started to loosen some of its strict COVID-19 prevention policies, 
which had been in place for the last three years. Now all the major domestic airports cancelled their mandatory PCR test for domestic arriving passengers. And the current 5 plus 3 quarantine policy is expected to be further shortened. As a result, the domestic flight numbers of the Shanghai Hangzhou Airport and Shanghai Pudong Airport combined increased by 38% last week. All these signs show the rebound of the Chinese domestic civil aviation market is finally approaching. Nevertheless, the C919 needs to prove itself as soon as it enters into commercial operation. If the performance is satisfactory, with the mass production and the determined customers, the program could be successful in the coming decades. So, can this new large Chinese airliner break through the monopoly of Boeing and Airbus? China is expected to become the world's largest aviation market. Boeing predicts the Chinese airlines will buy a total of 8,600 new aircraft in the next 20 years alone. However, it suggests that while Beijing cannot do without Boeing or Airbus for the time being, in the long run it intends to control its own destiny. Besides, Boeing series aircraft, Boeing 737, Boeing 747, Boeing 787, these classic models prove that an era belongs to Boeing aircraft. However, Boeing seems to have gradually lost its past honor in modern times, indulging in the aura of a powerful enterprise, so that product problems are not uncommon. In 2021, the Boeing aircraft in the United States has two consecutive engine explosions and combustion accidents in one day. The explosion of the engine also means absolute danger to the aircraft, which is simply a reminder of the crash of the aircraft. Not long after a United Airlines Boeing passenger plane took off, the right engine began to explode, and parts continued to fall from the plane, and even fell into the local residential community. On the same day, an engine of a cargo Boeing aircraft taking off from the Netherlands also exploded, and parts were scattered all over the place, causing injuries to local residents. One after another, major accidents have seriously threatened the lives of Boeing aircraft users, resulting in a sharp drop in the international market's confidence in Boeing aircraft. Therefore, Boeing aircraft, which has always been proud, has lost tens of billions of dollars a year, and its corporate reputation has also been greatly impacted. Boeing in the United States and Airbus in Europe, as the two major aircraft manufacturing giants representing Europe and the United States, together constitute an international pattern in which European and American countries monopolize the aircraft market. Boeing has always regarded Airbus as its strongest imaginary enemy, and even bought a second-hand Airbus Classic A320 aircraft and placed it in Seattle, where its headquarters is located, so as to motivate employees. However, they recently stopped fighting each other for years, perhaps because they have a common competitor, Comac. The Chinese aircraft C919 with high quality and low price may become a major anti-monopoly weapon in the world aviation manufacturing market. The hot sales of C919 may promote the formation of a new market model in which Comac, Airbus and Boeing stand together, break through the fixed rules of the original European and American countries monopolizing the market. It seems that Comac has indeed made the two giants of the aviation industry feel a sense of crisis. For years, both Boeing and Airbus have been competing for this piece of the Chinese market. But unfortunately, Comac has an incomparable advantage over these two companies, and losing the Chinese market would be a devastating loss for them. Do you think Boeing and Airbus will still be able to successfully dominate the Chinese market in the future? Well, thanks for listening. See you next time.